Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D optical illusion of a striped donut in Adobe Illustrator. It's really simple, so let's get started. We're going to begin on an artboard that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. Start by selecting your line segment tool and we're going to draw our line pattern. So just draw a line that's about 200 pixels. It's not that important. Give it a stroke of about 20 pixels. Make sure that it's black. Then zoom into your line right here. Hold Shift and Alt and move it about 40 pixels, just approximately like that. So it's double the width right here. Then repeat this for 10 times by pressing Ctrl D or Command D. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, something like that. Then select all of these lines and go into your Symbols tool right here and click and drag this into there. Just accept all of these. You don't need to give it a new name. That's all fine. Press OK and you'll have this box like that. Good. Now let's make our donut. We're going to select the ellipse tool by pressing L, click once and make an ellipse about 150 by 150 pixels. Press OK. We want to make sure that it has no stroke and the fill color is something other than black. Don't make it white either. So we're going to choose pink. Select your circle, go to effect, 3D, revolve. And you're going to make a donut, simple as that. So we're going to change these angles here. Press 0, 0, you'll see that tip a bit. And this is the inclination, that's really what we want right here. And we're going to switch this to about minus, mm, we'll go 21 or something like that. So it tips a bit towards us. So all this is doing is taking the circle and it's rotating it around this axis in 3D. So if I cut this in half, you see? So that's what it's doing effectively like this. So make sure that this is 360. And to make the hole in the middle, we're going to change the offset. Select right here. And we're going to move it up and you see as we make it very big, we make a big hole. But we want something that's about about 83 pixels, I think that's fine. We want to see the inside. And to see that a bit better, we can switch this to wireframe. So this is what the donut will look like. And we want to see, yes, we see the inside going down like that. So that's perfect. So switch back to diffuse shading. Now we go to map art. And this is where we add the symbol. So we can click right here and go select our symbol. And then we see right here and to stretch it across the entire shape, we go scale to fit. All right. So now we have our pattern, but you see this top line is a bit too thick compared to the rest of them. That's because this line right here is touching this one. So we can select this box right here and move it a bit. So that line is just above like that, just above the, uh, the entire shape. And we see that that line is gone. And now every single one of these lines is the right thickness. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all this pinkness and we're going to go to invisible geometry. And that just removes the underlying shape and you just get this pattern. And you press OK. Then we're done. Now select your entire shape. You're going to go to object, expand appearance. Now we have all our individual shapes and now you're going to have to right click on your shape quite a few times. Go ungroup, ungroup, release clipping mask. You're going to have to do this a whole bunch of times. Um, like this until everything is its own shape. And I think we actually we got pretty darn close there. Ungroup. Okay. Now we're going to zoom in and we're going to get rid of some of these lines that are behind our shape. It's a bit tricky initially, but once we remove a couple lines, it'll be easy. So start with these lines that are kind of curving downwards like this. If we delete it, you'll see that. Ah, now you start to see this is the front of the shape. This one, delete. This one, delete. You can get rid of this line right here. This line we can't see. Uh, this line is the hole at the bottom. Obviously we can't see that. Let's right click ungroup this just to be sure I don't delete anything. Oh, I missed there. Delete. This line is no good. And like that looks good. Okay. So now that we've gotten everything, we're going to be left with just this shape right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the shape. Make sure it's ungrouped. Yeah, so it's just the shape. 
you're gonna double click on the shape. This is going to isolate it so we don't edit anything else. And click over here to the Add Anchor Point tool and select this intersect. So click on this intersect right here and click on this intersect right here. And same deal on this side, this intersect and this intersect. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to remove these points. If you just remove these points or try to move them back, you're going to change the shape of this line. We don't want to do that. So we have to add these intersects right here and then click and hold, go to delete anchor point two and delete all of these little anchor points like this. Okay. When we're left with just these lines and these points, if they have these long handles like this, press your direct selection tool, press a, and click and hold on the handle and drag it to the anchor point. And this will just get rid, rid of that circular pattern. Okay, so now we have that pattern. You see this line now disappears behind that one. We're gonna have some small low shapes uh, that are going to be left out here. If you just ungroup, you can delete them. They might actually repeat like this. Uh, can I get rid of this? If I zoom out. So you might have to select this a few times, quite a few times. Okay, so it didn't like that. So we can just zoom in. If we can select that line and go delete anchor point two, we might be able to... Good, perfect. So again, if you have any funny low shapes like that, just delete the anchor points. And if you want to be really precise, you'll see that you have all these lines behind it. You can make sure you can select them kind of like this, delete them. I'm just pressing Control Y. So here, this, here's another shape. You can delete that. Just to make your shape a bit cleaner if you ever want to work with it in the future. Like that. And that looks uh, about cle as clean as you're gonna get it. So there you have it. You've made your 3D, uh, 3D optical illusion. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, write them in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out our other videos. We're going to be doing all these other optical illusions. And of course, as always, have a great day.